welcome back to Ow. the program. Welcome back. Welcome back. Here, just doing a little round two recap. That shit's over and done with, Slim. <laughs> but a little round two recap. Uh, we officially have each conference final set. And we're just going to talk about those and then check out a future video for predictions on the conference finals, what we have. Um, Slim, when we did our bracket of who we thought was going to be in the conference so funny, finals, bro. we had Suns beating the Nuggets, and then we had the Suns beating the Lakers to go to the finals because uh. we, flipped, we flipped a coin and we landed on the Suns. I had the Lake, we had the Lakers on the other side, so we did predict the Lakers right so far. Um, but then on the East, I think we had the Sixers going to the finals, correct? And yeah, I think I mean, you know me, I'm a I'm a C's cat, so I probably voted on C's, but I, I remember us having Philly. <laughs> yeah, because I remember we were really high on Philly when we did that, but yeah, yeah, I yeah. think we had Philly. I had a lot of um Fuck I had a big future on Philly's <laughs> Lake, uh Philly Lakers and uh obviously did not pan out. But let's start with F's in the chats for Matt's future. Yeah, well we still have the Lakers future. It's only at plus a thousand, which kind of sucks, but um, it's 25 for 250. It was a free bet. So turn me up. Let's hope that hits. But yeah, let's get right into Nuggets Suns. Do you respect to the one seed or the highest seed left? Um, Nugget Suns, what do we got? We'll go first, then. Yeah, because you do also like the Suns. So <laughs> DeAndre A. You weak ass, soft ass, punk ass, lame ass, don't want to play ass. Oh, I'm I'm upset that that grown men are yelling at me. Oh, I get my my head coach fired even though it wasn't his fault. Don't want to hustle back on defense. Don't want to hustle on offense. Don't want to push the floor. I'm letting I'm letting a whack body. That's not a diss. That's not a diss. That's not, not a diss. diss. Not a diss, not a diss. Shout out to all the whack bodies. You know, I'm taking that from Perk. You let it out. You you let a you let a whack body out outrun you all the way down 94 feet. Get him out of here, man! And you and you let and you let and they let Monty go. The, what, the, what the hell, man? Come okay, on. if I'll touch on this briefly, for just we'll great get analysis. Of, yeah, we'll Thank get you. more. That's into, all I got to say. That's all I got to say. Great analysis. Man. We'll get more into this during the analysis. offseason season stuff because <laughs> while there's still a lot of basketball to be played, we definitely are excited for how each team's going to make moves, what we think they should do, all that kind of stuff. Personally, I'll touch on this briefly. I thought DeAndre Ayton should have been moved last summer. There he goes again. I'm just saying I thought he should have. Obviously, we weren't doing this at this point, and so we can't go back to the tapes. But I did think he should be moved after everything that happened with him and Monty. That being the case, I think their owner is, as you can tell, his two main moves are acquiring Kevin Durant and firing their head coach. He is going to jump at the bit to trade DeAndre. It's going to happen, and it's just a matter of when. I think D-Book and KD are obviously safe. I think everyone else on the roster can go. Everyone else on the team, GM, everything can go besides those two guys. And I think... That's what's the future for them. I personally, as good as KD is, I didn't like the move because I thought they were really close to being championship contenders beforehand. I think it still puts them in a spot where they can be in the future until they, they need to fill out their bench more. And I have firsthand experience with the Cavs bench not being good, and they had an even worse bench than the Cavs. And it was KD and D book are so good that they won two games, but you can only they never won a game that D-Book didn't shoot over 60%. Yeah, 100%. like it's not it's not possible. But, I mean, credit to the Nuggets. They are a really, really good team. No, that's what I'm about to say with my little breakdown. Shout out MPJ and shout out Jamal Murray, two elite players. You I've been very high on this Jamal Murray train. You can go back to all the rest <laughs> of that, all of that. I've been very high. He has on more Murray. games with. Less than one assist than he has more to assist than he has two assist games. Love that stat out of that kid. Out of Michael Porter Jr. Not yeah, so. he has yeah. A, more games with less than one assist, so zero or one or less, one or zero, than over two. And you just That's love crazy. to see that. It's kind of insane, but I mean, I was watching a mix of some contested uh, pull up threes in transition. Wow, that guy's got a quick trigger. Yeah, he's definitely interesting. That see. guy's got a me trigger. He makes it though. He already started. Yeah, he, he sprays. He sprays. 
And let's let's give a shout out to who was the reigning MVP up until Joel Embiid arguably um, uh, got uh, snubbed. Let's not start that argument. But oh, shout out to the Joker, to man. Really, really led the team. Triple doubles, back-to-back -back nights. You know what I mean? Yeah, no. I mean, he did. He was unreal the entire series. And it's kind of just tough because – Embiid had I saw a stat today. Embiid had a nine point four, I think it was, points per game drop in the playoffs compared to regular season. What a fucking fraud that guy is. Yeah. Got kid. And, um, Once a fraud, always a fraud. And I don't know. I just think that debate is slowly getting put to bed. Two conference finals for Jokic, possibly a finals appearance. Embiid has never been there. Blue blown, I think three, three, two leads now, with especially game six or seven at home. Obviously, they're going to have one of those, but game six at home this year was just brutal. We'll touch more on it, but in just this series, I thought you really saw Yoke be the best big in the NBA. I've always been high on Embiid. I always think he was better just because of defense, but Jokic is so much on the offensive end. It's, un it's kind of unreal, and I'm worried about it for this Lakers series upcoming. But in this series, I mean, he just, Slim alluded to it in the beginning, destroyed DeAndre Ayton the entire time. Um, and if you even wanted to go back to DeAndre Ayton, he averaged 10 points in this series. That's laughable numbers for a people thought should be an all-star center in his career. So fucking trash. And like, if you were to like kind of compare the difference between the two, it's unbelievable for how not. I mean, obviously Jokic is way better than DeAndre Ayton just on any given night, but I didn't think it would be this far of a gap, which is another reason I thought the Suns would prevail in this series. But I mean, the Nuggets just have a really, really good team with a really, really good best player and a really good wing player in Jamal Murray. And they have three point shooting everywhere. It's tough to beat that when I also didn't agree with Monty's decisions in this series. He didn't, he barely played TJ Warren up until the last game. Yeah. What uh, happened to my boy? Dude? Terrence Ross barely played. He got minutes toward the end of the series. Um, they were playing a lot of guys that I just thought shouldn't be on the floor. Like, if you wanted to just commit to fully just outscoring the Nuggets, which is very hard to do, but that's kind of the avenue you had to go. You have to play TJ Warren and Terrence Ross. They're bona fide bucket getters. Like, that's what they do in this league. Right. They're way to see T. Ross, T. Ross, the boss, get a little more burn than he got. Yeah, but um, I want to shout out, shout out to the, the way they're. Uh... Oh, go ahead, go. No, go, 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 go. I was gonna, I was just gonna say, uh, you know, we 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 have a scope on the young cat radar. Shout out to Christian Brown balling out. Um, if you're Phoenix, I think you move Chris Paul. He's a loser. I've said it once. I've said it twice. I'll say it a thousand times on this cast. If you want to lose more games, get Chris Paul on your team. You'll always lose. First of all, second of all. Someone needs to smack the shit out of Aiden's the same way someone needs to smack the shit out of Ben Simmons because that guy's got a lot of talent. And that guy could be a great big in the NBA. He needs a veteran big to coach him up and actually rough him up a little bit because he's such a pussy. C, book is unreal. All my book slander, I take it back. He has yeah, nice. I, was... I understand that he can't shoot the ball and he sucks, but it should be known as a cast. We have to say it. He, I take back my book slander. I do too. I always had Donovan Mitchell ahead of him after this playoffs. <laughs> not even close to as good of a basketball player. That close. guy actually. And somebody told y'all. Somebody told y'all. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking it back. He's the best guard in the league, right? Or uh, two in the league. Donovan's still second, in my opinion, but he's he books the best right now. That was something. Obviously, Donovan's had great playoff moments like that, but not at the consistency. What when they lost to the Knicks? Well, not, I'm not saying this year. I'm saying in the past. But D book is also lost by 30 in back to back close elimination games. Let's not Very put that true. on the table. Just saying. But as a pure basketball player, D book is un unreal. And also, I, I take back league. my doubts. I always knew he was good, but not that level of good. Really happy to have Harden out, uh, Kyrie out, and Duran out. So, yeah, I wish, I really wish the Sixers won that. No season. rings for them. Sorry, boys. But. You oh, know what I was actually thinking the other day, which I don't need to get into right now, but I just want to make make known real quick. If we didn't break it up this year, the East is actually wide open. Well, yeah, with Giannis getting hurt and the Heat winning. This would have been the year. 
yeah, you would have. Well, I mean, you would have played Philly in round one. Actually, with everyone, you probably would have been a no, higher seed. Wouldn't. We would have had absolutely had a higher seed. We were. The we two probably seed. would have played you or Philly in round one. We were the two seed. We would have beat you in five. All I'm saying is, that's about- this. They're probably Katie's probably pissed. You got bounced, bro. Yeah, he is. But I think it's not. This trade wasn't about this year, to me. Bro, I mean, they thought they it was. It wasn't. It was. Everybody it shouldn't have been. Win. Everybody thought they were going to win. I didn't. You we said them. on this po- we me and the, you said Finn, but they were not going to win. Did you not pick them to go to the finals? Slim did. So we flipped the coin. I had the Lakers, he had the Suns and we flipped okay, the I, bottle cap I was going to say I thought one Suns. of you took I was going to say I mean but I did think they would beat Denver and they played, just because they the number 1 seed cut them slack. They played the yeah, number 1 seed. Yeah, no. I mean Denver's a hell of a ball club and I can't <laughs> Wow, it was really my LeBron interview coming out right there. That was crazy. But, um, no, they're a great team, and I just think it's going to be a wildly entertaining series for uh, versus the Lakers. But let's get into Philly Celtics, probably the best series in round one, the best and worst at the same time. A lot of blowouts, a lot of bad basketball by the Sixers at points, a lot of bad basketball by a lot of different guys. But when rubber met the road, Jason Tatum, 51 points in game seven. Killed them in the third quarter. They Philly scored ten points. Harden looking like Ben Simmons. It was just well, and Harden sucked. Dude, he passed up on multiple layups. Yeah, I he think, did. Y'all talking about just in Game Seven? Or yeah, yeah let's, we'll talk oh. just Game Seven and then go into the series. Yeah, you I was make your talking about Game Seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now nah, JT is that guy, and he was, in my opinion, he was in the running for MVP, and even next season is going to be a testament. I mean, the season's not even over. They're getting ready to play the Miami Heat. Yeah, He's I was going to say, you guys are gearing up to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, for week. for next year, I think that it's going to be, like, undoubt, undoubtable that he is arguably top three best players on the planet. You think by the end of this playoffs or at the end of next year? By the end of next season. Okay, I could. It was I so could corny see. when he said that stuff after game six. Nah, he was just keeping it a buck. Like he, he want to stay humble, but like, dude, like, look at me and just wait, and then look what he did. History. Yeah. I'm. Um, yeah. I'm just like for me. I've. I'm in the camp that I think Jalen Brown's better than Tatum. You can argue. It's probably not here, bro. true. Dude, you stay Get saying this. It's probably not true, but I'm just. I like Jalen Brown's game a lot, but Tatum to me, while I can't really argue this, I, this is something that uh, JJ Redick said on his pod. I saw a clip or I watched his video on it today. And he was saying that people always say Tatum's inconsistent, which he is shooting threes, but, and sometimes finishing. But for the most part, when it's time to win or like, like be successful, he always gets to that point. He's four out of six seasons in the conference finals in his career. That's very impressive. And he's, yeah, he's always been the lead guy for those. Yeah. And he's been the best player to most people, not for, except for this year to me. Um, but I think the 51 was just insane. And then game six at the end was insane. And I, the fact that Philly didn't capitalize on him shooting one of 14 or 13 for three, through three quarters is insane to me but well it's what happens when your best player is d'anthony mellon <laughs> true but um i don't know i just think Fuck the sixers bro i think the celtics i mean i can't see them losing to the heat and at any point i think they beat them in five hashtag sneak peek but um i just think this series i saw someone was talking about is this series more on the celtics greatness or phillies to, like being bad, and I think it was just Philly being bad. I'm re- they're, Doc's gone. Piss that series away. Doc's gone. They were they were a worse team, Slim, but they were in a spot where they could have stole that. And they yes, them. they should have won this series. Not from the jump, but where they were. Yeah, they were up three two at the game six at fact. home. <clears throat> Boston's definitely a better team overall, but, but your professional black basketball players are up three two. Got to close them out. Yeah, with the MVP of the league. Harden, who's played very inconsistent in this series, but he's given you three games. Yeah, but of- dude, you at the, at the end of the day, it's like the same thing with Chris Paul. Like you know who Harden is. Yeah, fair. I, I, think I don't Harden's- think so. I, I think I think Tatum, Tatum show, like 
he showed you that he's that guy. And I think like in regards to inconsistency, I think that he, I think he's focused on the current moment, of course, but he knows his capability. And I think deep down, he knows I'm already going to be at that next level. I'm already going to be at the finals because I know what it is that I'm capable of and I'm not going to allow my team to lose. And I think that in regards to the clutch, he he's able to to provide, give you 16 and a quarter. That's end, true. And end up winning the game, you know, but I think his attitude towards the game, he he doesn't have the he, his his mind state isn't focused on okay, let me go ahead and flip the switch on and play four games maybe because he's trying to preserve his energy and figure out the best way to how to get deeper into the playoffs to the finals again after after reaching to the finals last year. So I think strategically he's trying to piece together, okay, how do I coast through being able to play against the Hawks because I'm already knowing that I'm capable of beating them and we're going to win this series. How do I preserve my energy? How do I preserve my 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 physical health so that I can reach those stages to where I may have to play a Jimmy Butler again against the Miami Heat, which is a more physical team. You know, Philly, who's a more physical team, which is going to require more energy, which is going to require me being healthy and consistent in the stretches in order to make it to the finals. And I think that uh, I think that he he knew that going into this series against Philly, that Philly didn't had enough have enough to to really compete with Boston on that level, especially as well as they're shooting from three compared to Philly and Joel Embiid being being hurt every now and then James Harden being inconsistent you know they Joel Embiid James Harden Tyrese Maxey everybody that they have over there in Philly are great players but because they don't have that that next edge you know and Joel Embiid has proven that James Harden has proven that no rings they don't have that edge to really do what it takes to make it to the finals for one and then two execute when you are up three two you know what i'm saying so that's when he's like man let me quit playing with him and then just go ahead take care of business we can go to game seven that's cool because we're gonna win anyway you know but as good as he played in the fourth quarter of that game he's like overall he sucked that game in game six no. and they still won marcus no shit mark, marcus smart was the best player on the floor that night which is concerning if you're the For sixers sure. so i mean I just think eventually, buddy. They're a fraudulent organization. I think that happens because of Doc. Personally, I've never been a Doc guy. Um, notorious loser. Um, and Doc's I just, out of here. Mike's we, gone. Monty's gone. Nick Nurse is we gone. We can move. We can move on from that, bro. The Sixers are losers. Always have been. Always will be. Yeah. I mean, I just I'm disappointed in the Sixers because they should have won this series. I think stealing Game One without Embiid was huge. I think. Having that other game five in Boston was huge. And then you have game six at home. They scored less than 100 points, or they scored like 100 points. It has to be a win. Has to be, has to be, has to be. <sighs> but let's swing it back over to the West. Let's talk Lakers, Warriors. Very entertaining series. Very good series. A lot of really good players. Warriors. I'm pretty pissed. Warriors lost in six. Finn. Is- Final prediction, I think, was the Warriors win. I was. Um, Absolutely fell apart on me. So let's just get your take on that, Finn, first um, of all. I'm a little bit tight about it. Uh, they – I forget who. It might have been Rosillo. I saw someone tw- – I saw it on Twitter. I forget who it said. But they were playing like they were coworkers, not teammates. They were just not, uh, not friendly. Like their vibes were off the whole series. I, the fact that – they had to have that rah rah speech after or for Game Six against the Kings and like all bullshit. Like that should have honestly gave me enough to know what was gonna happen here. Uh, I might have set some unrealistic expectations expectations and just figured like they'd be able to play through it. Honestly, they didn't really look like a complete squad. I don't know why Looney was or not Looney. Um, I don't know why Kaminga was getting no burn. That no burn. Not ready for this yet. What do you? They needed an athletic, like somebody to put a body on Bron. I, I, I don't Bron understand how Kaminga. Uh, I I think Kaminga is ready. Like look at look at the way Austin Reeves has played, and I know Kaminga was hurt last year, but 
his team made it to the finals, you know, which is enough, which is enough to to have on your mind to know that you can do whatever. That was just one small piece of the puzzle. Obviously, Kaminga doesn't fucking matter, but um, there there was just there was fire in the kitchen over there. I don't know what happened. I mean, it started. You, know, you can Poole. say, well, Jordan Poole was just bad, but you could also say it just started all the way from the summer when Draymond punched. Oh him. my god, you could. I'm not saying it obviously impacted them as yeah. I just some knew this are, was going to happen. But I'm just saying that is a major moment. I just and knew this was going to happen. It's also not like it was just kept. And in if house. Clay makes a couple more threes, we're not even talking about it. Well, duh. But that's how life works. I if know, Tatum so didn't that, go crazy in Game Six at the end, he like we wouldn't be talking. That about was going to happen, though. That was going to happen. But. I'm I mean, saying, they got to me, seriously reevaluate their situation over there. Yeah, I mean, to me, all year the Warriors just haven't been a good basketball. They've been good, but not great like they were last year or the year before. They haven't been that same team this year. They're too, especially in the matchup with the Lakers, they were way too small, and the Warriors' flaws were more geared toward the Lakers' strengths, and they count kind of counteract each other. And the Lakers do a really good job at defending. Uh, DHOs and if the since the Warriors run so many of those that kind of plays in the Lakers favor everything the Warriors kind of did the Lakers are good at defending and everything the War- Lakers are good at on offense the Warriors are bad at this- do you care to comment on the foul discrepancy well I mean that makes perfect sense do you think it was the ref's fault no I just want to hear what your comment is on it oh well I just think I mean the Warriors foul the most in the NBA or maybe in the playoffs or something. I think they foul the most in the NBA. And the Lakers shoot the most free throws in the NBA. They are the most fouled team, and they are the most points in the paint. So if you want – and the Warriors are also get fouled the least in the league. Is the script don't. a LeBron championship versus the Celtics? Both of them with 17, 17 franchise chips, taking them to 18. The year he breaks the scoring record uh, like from Kareem and has cameras following him for his own last dance. I mean, that'd be great. Boston's going to win, though. Boston's going to win, though. They got to get it for Bill Russell. Yeah, I don't know. At this point, I'm rooting for anybody who's not LeBron for my MJ debate. So, Come on, dude. I have a you future. MJ guy? Finn's like the biggest MJ guy. You know, yeah. my, ba- you know my background? This cat. Got MJ all over my background. Whoa. But, no, I mean, I just think – like people that are complaining about the foul discrepancy, it's what the Lakers do. Like, think about who they have on their team. They have LeBron, who actually doesn't get as many calls as he should. Um, AD, Reeves, D'Lo, all very smart, manipulative players that attack the paint. Hey, so, you're doing tricks on the Lakers. What I'm just saying, I've watched a lot of Lakers ball, and post trade deadline, the Lakers are a good basketball team. Like, nothing has shown me that they're not a good basketball team. Rui is the X factor. Yes, in this upcoming series, for sure. And he played really well in spurts in both series. But I think the Warriors... If the Lakers lose this series, that's a tragedy because they have no business. AD has... That is not a tragedy at all. You want to prove yourself? Lock up Jokic. I don't... If they're smart, they wouldn't put him on Jokic. You want to hear this take? Actually, no, I'm saying I want to I want to I want to hear what my brother has to say. I want to save this for the preview. But why don't you just give us a little idea? Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on, come well, on. I just don't, said that. Don't, 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 don't bait, don't bait, don't bait. I don't think they should put AD on Jokic. All right, so yes, what's but, like, what's dude, that's scheme? just you. That's just you being load management, like superstar. No, Go back to it's the 90s, put the best player on the best player, lock him up. No, it's because Jokic attacks primarily in the middle of the floor. So if AD's at the free throw line, he can't protect the paint. They don't have any real rim protectors besides AD. On Why are you saying the Jokic isn't going to play from the free throw line? Yes, he does. That's all he does. What are you he's going to play. About? He's going to play from the elbows. And he's going to play from the block, dude. Okay, yeah, the elbows. What the hell is that? The but free I'm throw saying, line. Jokic can get up and down from the, or AD can get up and down from there. He's long and he's quick. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying Jokic with the being able to pass and stuff like that. I think they'll throw someone like uh, I don't think they'll put LeBron on him, but Vanderbilt. Hurts, but they'll put Vando on him or Rui. Or someone like that, and that'll allow AD to be on Aaron Gordon, who sits. Joker going shit on him. Who's yeah, he probably will. 
but I'm just saying it eliminates all the other players on this team and allows Jokic to just but go. But AD is not going to be able to play any weak side on Jokic because he's not. They're going to be operating in different areas of the court. You want him to get be getting. Aaron his Gordon on. primarily plays the big role. Like what? Aaron Gordon doesn't really shoot like that, so AD can oh, I know. cheat more to the paint. So if Jokic drives, then he can be there for help, or if he makes a backdoor pass or something like that, he'll be there to help. I think Aaron Gordon's not a corner lurker. Not really. He's they kind of do. A, they do a lot of dribble he handoffs can, too on the outside, and then Jokic can, in the middle. He can shoot from better. three. He can, but he can not get well, away but, from the point, though, Matt. Not if you well want enough. to really make a statement, put the best player on the best player, lock him up. I, I think that could work at, in definitely in moments for sure. But I'm just saying primarily, I think Vando or Rui could be on him. For definitely it. throw a lot of bodies at him. Like don't just play him for 48 minutes straight up. But like I'm saying, he should be getting a lot of touches on him. If yeah. if Jokic is backing somebody down, let me phrase it like that. It should be AD. But period. I'm also. But they also run a lot of Murray Jokic pick and rolls, and so if AD has been, you just said they're good against the DHO. It's not a pick and roll. It's a dribble handoff. Uh, I thought you said dribble handoffs. They are Lakers are good at defending yeah. dribble handoffs, but that's what not, I was saying. I, th- well, I thought you said you said Jokic. But and they're not that good at like. defending the pick and roll, and especially if you put AD consistently in that action, he's been playing a lot of drop ish coverage. Did they switch against Golden State? Yeah, because they can go and switch it because they can put a LeBron or a Vando or someone on a Draymond Green or a Looney or a Jaron Jackson round one or Dylan yeah. Brooks. Even like that. you have you have you have but you can't switch it now. Like that. You can't switch it putting a guard. You can't put a guard on um, anyway, Yoke. He'll destroy him. But that's for the preview. Um, Lakers Warriors. I think the Warriors were just. I felt they shouldn't have even won round one if it wasn't for De'Aaron Fox getting hurt, personally. But I mean, yeah, that should have. That's what I mean. That should have showed me all I needed to say. But I mean, credit to them. They were, they were defending champs, won their chip, got four now. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Someone's got to beat them, and I, someone definitely beat them. But yep. I am very excited for the Lakers Nuggets series. But to the last semifinal series. Knicks Heat, pretty disappointing to say the least to me. I thought that I thought the Knicks were going to win just because of how well they played against the Cavs. But then I looked more into it and I was like, okay, so the Heat rebound well. They're very physical, not things the Cavs do well. The Heat have good on ball defenders and good and Bam's a solid enough big to patrol the paint and defender. And they can switch it's one a through great five. shot blocker. They can switch one through five. So that is stuff that the Cavs couldn't do. So I kind of thought the Knicks would beat them in five, six games. And obviously I was wrong. Credit to Jimmy Butler for making it back as the eighth seed. I just I was low on the heat before the year. I sent Finn before we even all we even met Slim saying how I had the Heat as the 7 or 8 seed, I think, in the East this year. And I was right-ish. Like, they're not that good, but they're here. You're so low on them. I know, but they're not that good. Like, yeah, they it's are. the same thing with the Warriors to me. Like, they weren't good. Like, yeah, but that what? just shows what a well-coached team did. I know. Spo they, is great. I can't argue that. They just but. absolutely dismantled the Knicks. Yeah, I, the, Spo is great. Jimmy Butler's But that good when you have playoff. guys who listen to you and have a good culture, that plays a huge part in a playoff series especially. Yeah, it does. And I just – I undervalued them, and I'm still slightly undervaluing them because I really don't give them a single chance in this series at all to me. But, hey, I've been surprised before. Surprise me again, Heat. But. I actually think if any team in the East can beat the Celtics, it's the Heat. Because if any team in the East can get beaten, it's just randomly by the Heat. That's just what it is. Well, yeah, I think like uh, every, all over the last couple of years, if any good team's gonna get just randomly beaten, it's always by the Heat. Yeah, I think it's. I mean, obviously, I thought Milwaukee <laughs> could beat Boston. I thought Philly could beat Boston. They played fast, thought, bro. Yeah, I even thought the Cavs could beat Boston in a seven. That's years. a crazy take. I don't think it was likely, but I thought they could. I. Slight, I don't like. I think the Heat could barely, but like that's just the Heat and the Celtics. They were a shot away from 
either side going to the finals last People year. People forget. I wish I wish Hero was playing in. Did I read this correct that the Heat Celtics has been four of the last six Eastern Conference finals? Well, let's think. 20 or four last six. So every year the Celtics made it. No, that wouldn't be right. I said four of the last six. Well, okay. So the Bucks won in what, 2019 or 2021? 20. 21. 21. Yeah. So, all right, let's just go back in time. Warriors last year. So that was Celtics heat in the conference. Then the year before that was the Bucks. So not the Celtics and heat. Then bubble was Lakers. So Celtics and heat 19. Who won in 19 Raptors? No. Yeah. Raptors. Yeah. And Raptors. then 18 was Celtics heat. 18. No. Celtics. Uh, Cavs. Yeah, Celtics Cavs. So three of the last six years. Yeah. What is, you could even do it more recent. You could do three of the last four. Or yeah, th- three that might, last five. That might have been what I said. I don't know why we did that. Matt. But whatever. But, yeah, I mean. So I'm just saying, really, like, you. It, you it know, shows the culture aspect of it. You, talk, <laughs> you, you, you love, you're slandering the heat, but then you look at a stat like that, and you're like, all right, that team just fucking wins. Like, I'm a, Sorry, Finn. I'm going to remove this banner real quick just so Slim can show his name. That's hard. <laughs> but I I agree. I think Randall's got to go. He's just a and, fuck, and, bro. Okay, so my my I don't know. It kind of cut out for a second. But um no, we were talking about random shit. Yeah. Tibbs gotta go. Tibbs gotta go. Yeah, Everyone Randall's gotta go, bro. Randall Randall's gotta be the third best player on a good team. The Tibbs Knicks win one go. series, and everyone thinks they're the best team in the league. And then Tibbs is a good coach again. And then you go back to the beginning of the year when they stink, and then they have a little run where they're like, "Oh, they we're pretty good." And then you have a like, a, "Oh, we're pretty good." And then you have a bad playoff series or a good playoff series, and then a bad one. And then it's like back to okay, fire everyone, get rid of everyone. Brunson's the savior right now. That's what I'm at. RJ, people are hating on RJ Barrett, Julius Randle. Shout out to stuff. RJ. Shout he actually played Shout better than I anticipated. Parlays, baby. Yeah, uh-huh. I think I, th- I think Tibbs, and then I, I called this. It's it's gonna come back to bite them in the ass, pause. That when you don't play your bench, when you're only playing seven guys throughout the regular season, you know, no Evan Fournier who can shoot well if you give him the opportunity um, to be comfortable in game, right? Um, petite. If 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 you don't give those guys the opportunity, you just started giving quickly the burn that he deserves. He played right? so well t- during regular season. He barely played. This is playoffs. his first. This is his first time really playing in the playoffs. You know, so that's that's what? going to happen. I think quickly is a better player than Jordan Poole, right? But I think that when you don't I give your agree. squad, when you don't give your squad the opportunity to flow throughout the regular season, eighty-two games. So that once you end up making it to the second round somehow for the first time in 50 years, you can combat Miami's defense with uh, adjusting to the zone that they're running. They keep trapping you, right? And then you can combat that with shooting from the guys that you have just rotten on the bench because you don't want to play them. So Tibbs has to go. Julius Randle is a bitch. Excuse my language. But that's just what it is. When you don't come to play, and and he was showing that he was already defeated. Oh, I don't know. Maybe they're just the better team. What the hell are you talking about, bro? Like, what are we doing right now? Why are you even here? Go home. Who's the best Go player home. on the Knicks, then? You said what? Who's the best player on the Knicks? Jalen Brunson. Facts. He is. He is. That's it. I, a lot of people, like, Randall got all the awards this year, but Brunson was definitely the best player, in, definitely in the playoffs, no doubt. I mean, Randall was hurt, so, like, you can give him that, cut him some slack. But at the same time, like being hurt doesn't justify those comments in the media or stuff like that, where just you're basically giving up before it's over. What and a pussy. I don't know. I just think excuse me. Randall is very up and down. Like he had a really good twenty twenty or twenty twenty one. When yeah, twenty twenty one when they played the Hawks in the first round and lost. That season he played really well. Then he had a bad year. Still is Randall, bro. Then he had a good year this year, and then it ended poorly again. Oh, fuck Joyce. Fuck the, the Knicks. I hate the Knicks. Knicks. Knicks suck. Fraudulent organization. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, I think... They should go get Chris Paul. <laughs> they already have Brunson. But, 
I don't know. I just think the Knicks have – they made some really good moves, some bad moves, and I think they have to make some moves to get rid of – some addition by subtraction kind of moves I think they have to make. But I think they're on the right direction. Before we go, last finals predictions. Who do you think's winning? Who do you think makes it in each series? Um, is Celtics, it, is it time? Celtics in six, Lakers in six. Lakers in seven. Okay. And I hope that's not the case. Celtics in five. I I I like I said, I'm a I'm a Denver cat, but um the Lakers, you know, just giving them the benefit of the doubt. Right. If if you're not asking me to be biased, Lakers, Lakers in six, and Boston in five whoa okay i'm gonna go boston in five in this series versus the heat six probably but i as you know me undervaluing the heat and then i'm if i really think what's gonna happen i i'm really torn in this series i'm gonna go just for my actual prediction and not just where my money is i would probably say denver in seven but I could definitely see the Lakers. I winning. like that. I like. I could that. definitely see the Lakers winning in six I like or seven. That. But I'm gonna go with the Celtics in seven over the Nuggets in the finals. It's not what I want to happen, but I think it's gonna happen. But that's a wrap for this or that. We'll see you guys next time. And peace. Toodaloo.